Hello and welcome to Relight. This tutorial will run through correcting an image using the wizard and give you an overview of the program at the same time. When you first start Relight, this is what you'll see. You'll have a welcome window and in it, it'll give you the option to open an image or to have a look at one of the tutorials. Since you're already looking at one of the tutorials, we'll skip that and go straight to opening an image. So, click on open image and choose an image to work on. I'm going to choose this portrait photo here. Once the image is loaded, the wizard will pop up. Now, don't bother moving this wizard out of the way so that you can see the photo because as soon as you click next, it'll move up into the corner for you. By the way, you can pan and zoom the image even while the wizard is up. So you could, for example, use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out of a particular spot or you could use the buttons and controls up here. I'm going to put it back to fit to window for now. Anyway, back to the wizard. The wizard asks you what's wrong with your photo. So in this case, the photo is too red, so I'm going to select tinted red, blue, or any color. You need to choose whatever's appropriate for your photo. And if you don't know, there's a not sure option down here too, so don't worry. OK, click Next. It now asks you to select a distinctive part of the image. And skin color is always distinctive, so I'm going to select a part of the head here. By the way, when you're choosing an area, you generally try to choose a, a brighter area, but not a glossy area. You want the color of the skin or whatever it is that you're selecting and not the color of the lights reflecting off a glossy surface. OK, we've selected an area, so now we need to tell Relight what color that area is supposed to be. There are a few preset colors. You can also choose a custom color, or even you can also pull a color out of another image if there's an image that has the color that you want. Since this is skin color, we're going to choose a skin option. By the way, this the skin option works for any ethnicity. I don't want to go into the reasons why. Just see that as more proof that we're not quite so different after all. So we select skin and you'll see the image instantly update. Let's just take a step back and look at what happened. We selected an area and then told Relight what color it should be. And then Relight took that information and calculated the best transformation to correct the entire image. If the colors aren't quite right, then you can try either adjusting the target color using custom color selection here, or you can adjust the source region. So you can, for example, you can drag the corners around, or you can even move the entire area by dragging it in the middle. And you may also notice that there's a, a circular window around the mouse. That's called the look-through window, and it gives you a look through to what the original image was so that you can see what changes you've made. If you want to look at the whole original image, then you can hold down the show original image button. A quick option is to actually just hold down the spacebar. This gives you a quick and easy way to compare what you've done with what the original photo looked like. OK, I'm happy with those improvements so far, so I'm just going to click Next. Now, at this point, the wizard says that it's done. If you had selected other options, it would show more pages with more steps to improve the image. For this example, though, we're done, so we click Finish. OK, what's next? Well, if you're happy with the results, then you can save or print it. Or you might want to scale and or crop the image. In this case, I think that this photo is still a little dark, so I'm going to increase the exposure a bit. Yeah, that's better. And add a little bit more saturation. Yeah, that looks better. OK, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. More video tutorials will be added later, so subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated.